All right, everybody, this is game four in between Google and Oracle. It looks like this game is just going to be played for fun uh, because Google, by this time, has taken the win over Oracle. In the bottom left-hand corner, playing for Team Oracle, we have Chillum Balam. I know up here it does say, uh, no relay, Dr. Matanzas. Uh, once again, not sure if the doctor is playing on uh, Chillum's account or if this was a last-minute substitution. Um... Not exactly quite sure, but down here in the bottom left, left hand corner, as the red turn, we'll be having Chillum Balam playing for Team Oracle, and in the top right hand corner, we'll be having TZ playing for Team Google. Um, in the last match, we saw a Terran vs. Terran on New Kirk City where it was a pretty much almost straight Marine. There were a few Marauders in one of the team's packs, but Marines and tanks against. Well, Marines tanks, along with some medevacs and uh, some Vikings. So, on Star Station, this is going to be, a, uh, um, well, obviously it's bigger than New Kirk City, so it's not going to be as much, there's going to be a lot more distance in between the two bases, especially since they are in opposing corners uh, than New Kirk City, so there'll be a little bit more time in between uh, attacks and what, what have you. Uh, I'd say this could be an interesting matchup, being again a TVT. I think that Google is certainly living up to its team motto in these this series, being of course search and destroy. It is. I didn't catch that. I gotta see this. Ah, <laughs> search and destroy. I like it. Awesome. Okay. Well, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do my player introduction. So for TZ, he chose Terran. It's really the only one I know how to play. Well, once again. That's all honest. So there you go, TZ. And Dr. Matanzas, who uh, is either playing on someone else's account or is not playing and been substituted, the reason he chose Terran is because he likes Terrans since StarCraft 1. So there you have it, why they chose. Uh, as for Chill and Balam, if they're the one actually playing, I have no idea why they chose Terran, and I'm not even going to try to venture a guess because I'd probably destroy it. So we have a pretty quick command center going down here at 320 for TZ. I'm uh, going to try and do a little bit greedy play here and see what happens. Uh, I think on a map like this you can actually get away with a pretty quick expand, especially if you're expanding behind your own wall, uh, just because of the extra distance in between the two bases. So we'll see what happens with that. And Chillum is going to be yep, dropping down the gas right there. Two racks play. Doesn't look like he's doing anything else. Just a couple Marines going out to scout and whatnot. And Yep, we'll see what happens there. Well, the quick expand worked really well for the Google team last match, so let's see if it pans out again. And I don't know if that's a scout. That's an awful lot of Marines, and he doesn't appear to be expanding behind it. We might be seeing an all-in from Oracle here. Quite possibly. These are four Marines coming in all at once. Five? Yeah, five Marines coming in at once. And this could actually be spelling pretty bad news for TZ. Uh, if Chillum can get this attack down quick enough, we'll see what he can do against these three Marines. Four Marines on three Marines. Target firing. Oh, wow. Doing lots and lots of damage. They're going to be... So Chillum's going to be attacking the bunker as opposed... Oh, there he is. Okay, he got the SCB. This Marine, oh, this group of Marines going up, taking out these uh, extra Marines that TZ has up here. TZ having to pull off all the SCVs that he can to repair this, uh, to repair the supply depot. We'll see if Chillum's going to take the moment to try and pick off any of these SCVs while he can. He gets one. Uh, is he going to get a second? No. But Chillum's still not going to be, is he going to be trying to take down that wall anymore? Yes, yes he is. TZ pulling the Marine, uh, this SCVs back. And Chillum is going to be doing some great target firing here against all these SCVs. I think he's picked off, yeah, he's picked off six of them already. And unfortunately, that push uh, by TZ, I'm uh, sorry, by Chillum is going to get denied uh, by TZ with those extra uh, Marines coming out to deal the damage that needed to be done. But at the same time, six workers at six minutes is actually a pretty considerable amount of workers considering there's only 20. 26 compared to 20 is actually a pretty significant difference right now. A couple Marines coming down that are going to be taking clean of these uh, Marines up for Chillum pretty good. Unfortunately, Chillum didn't wait till he had gotten a good amount of Marines all together at once. 
and these Marines for TZ are just going to clean them up pretty good. <clears throat> so this expansion for TZ is going to be in danger here for a little bit. He's going to pull that back and get back to safe ground right now. All the while, Chillum has expanded himself. So we have some pretty good map control here by Chillum. And we'll see what happens. TZ going to try and go back for the expansion. But these Marines, are they going to block him or are they just going to shoot it? We'll see what happens. We'll see what T uh, Chillum sees here. He does see that command center floating back. Oh, wow. TZ coming out with a nice uh, supply of Marines here. Going to draw him back. Yes, he is not going to... He's not going to keep attacking. Chillum is just constantly, constantly producing Marines out of these four, uh, sorry, three barracks, getting a factory of now. Let's take a look. TZ has three uh, barracks as well. It looks like he's put yet an engineering bay. So one zero upgrades would be a very uh, nice thing to have right now for TZ. Hopefully he can get those out to deal with this early pressure by Chillum. We'll see what happens. And stim pack research going down for TZ, so that stim pack research could do some great, great damage to Chillum. So Chillum's going to have to be uh, pretty cautious about that. TZ is going to be cleaning up that uh, marine pressure right there, still gaining a good amount of marines out. Is he going to get any type of upgrades? No, he is not. But he is going for a factory. We'll see how that turns out for him. So TZ still not able to expand, and Chillum is getting this uh, command center, uh, this expansion going here. Eh, maybe a little bit too many SCVs queued up at once, but uh, this is B-League. That's okay. Not so sure about Chillum's decision to have only 12 workers on this line. How, is that really only 12? Maybe 13, 14. Hmm. Still not producing, so he's not producing any more workers out of here. But he does have, oh wow, five barracks. Five barracks compared to TZ's four and factory. So we got some nice uh, SUV transferring going down. We got seven and seven. Yep, pretty even uh, mineral mining going on. So it looks like Chilm is not going to be keeping any more pressure going on. Uh, probably going to be transitioning into some type of mech, but yeah, there goes that tank coming out. And still not much mech coming out for TZ right now. He did get that factory, but probably just to maybe do produce a couple tanks and possibly go into a starport here soon. But he's just sticking to pretty much straight bio right now, not going for any mech. Oh, there we go. There goes the tank. So he will be doing the same type of play. Uh, chill him. With his tank already out, we'll be able to have a little bit of superiority to this, uh, to this bio ball. But we'll see what happens. Only if he sieges it, I'm afraid. He's got it sitting there, but it doesn't look like it. He's probably waiting to see something walk by his watchtower or that SUV. But I'm getting the feeling the Blue Terran here might. Oh, there, good siege mode. He's definitely going to be well defended against any simply just marine pressure. However. This is 20 Marines. 20 Marines against two tanks and is that six? No, that is seven Marines. Okay, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, twelve Marines. These extra Marines will be very important for Chillum to have. No tanks for this Marine, uh, army of Marines. Where did those Marines go? Ah, oh, they moved. Okay. So we're going to have a little bit of a push here by TZ most likely with 20 Marines against two tanks and 16 marines these tanks are going to wreck some serious damage uh on these marines here oh wow what was that one shot mm -hmm. one shot took out about half the life of half the army wow tanks just deal so much damage when they're siege this is ridiculous yep and there goes the starport for tz probably gonna be getting some medevacs to support this bio army along with some tanks uh, he is going to be pulling back. It looks like he's not going to be able to do any type of uh, pressure against this against this base. Maybe Chillum will expand behind this because right now he's in a very good map control situation. Uh, TZ has fully pulled back. He's going to be probably turtling here for a little bit while he transitions into a little bit more uh, bio with some support here. 
Is he going to try expanding? Yes, yes, he does. Chillum is going to expand into the bottom right-hand corner. Very good move. Uh, little genie right there, making my wish come true. Definitely a ninja expand, going all the way to the lower right-hand corner of the map to place that base. <laughs> Indeed. Which is sometimes good and sometimes bad, because if they scout it, well, it's toast, because you usually can't get over there in time to defend it. But if they don't see it, well, they don't know it's there, they don't know you have it, and they don't realize you have those extra resources, so you can use that to your advantage. Uh, <clears throat> Chill, I'm going to be doing some really good play here, uh, moving some Marines into all the different places where he could expand, just checking for any ninja expansions himself, and keeping some really good map control. While TZ is going to be teching up here, we'll see what happens. Well, I say that way too much, because we will always see what happens. But, well... I don't care. We're going to see what happens. <laughs> Building a medevac on his reactor starport. It's really important not to overproduce medevacs because you need an army to be supported by medevacs. This is true. Um, so Chillum is going to have one one upgrades right now. While is he going for any other thing else? No, he's not. He's just sticking with one one upgrades. Really? Okay. Well, he's going to be sticking with some 1-1 one, one upgrades, while TZ is going for 2-Z, uh, sorry, 2-1. He's going for 2-1 upgrades. Oh, wow. That could be very, very dangerous, um, especially if he were to actually decide to push it. Um, Chillum is going to be going, trying to do some Banshee play, I guess, with uh, the starports that he's also uh, brought out as well. I am very curious to see what happens. And Chillum going now for a fourth expansion. Sorry, for a fourth base. Wow. If TZ is going to make any move, he's going to have to do it really quick. Because with four bases, Chillum is going to be getting a huge worker supply uh, count up and going to be able to mass, remass an army really, really quickly. Um, unless TZ applies some, applies some pressure. We'll see what happens. 48, 49 workers to 46. And it looks like Chillum is just going to keep that number going up. Up and up and up. Already three, going to be four workers out here in just a little bit. Did I see that right? Yes, he has four Vikings queued up along with two Banshees. This airplay could do some serious, serious damage to TZ if he doesn't push soon. This is a rather formidable army of tanks and, uh, let's see, a lot of Marines. 24, 48 almost 72 marines looks like it's about 65 i would think somewhere around there that is a lot of marines and oh chillum is going to know that it is on its way and he's going to have to start producing way uh, start producing a lot because two tanks and a few marines is not going to be able to hold that force that is a really a rather large force to have to deal with how many tanks is behind that Ah, yes, thank you. Uh, let's see, where is it at? Units, there we go. Thank you. 56 Marines against 72 and 8 Marauders with 4 tanks to respect. Oh, wow. <clears throat> this is definitely favoring TZ right now. And Especially if he catches those tanks out of position. That would be yes, he does. If oh, he no. does, these tanks are going to siege up. Oh, only one gets one shot off. And this army is going to deal so much damage with that stim pack. And those tanks not getting any shots off, except for maybe one. Chillum is going to have to do some seriously, really smart micro here to be able to effectively hold this attack off. Because with these medevacs, he's going to be able to... Um, oh, jeez. These but, banshees are going to be able to help target out these uh, siege tanks, but one scan proves that to be a fruitless attack. A raven here, not so sure how much damage that's going to be able to do, even with the secret missile. Because is it even Ryan? Ah, oh, stutter stepping and so much damage by these Marines. Oh my gosh, that is just 62, 60, 60 something Marines along with nine Marauders. Oh my goodness. Not even bothering the slim, just walking right up that ramp and killing all the things. Ah, oh. and here comes the attack on the natural. Let's watch this worker count. Workers killed 15, 18, 20, 21. 
25 for... Oh, jeez. So many workers killed. These tanks are going to try and do what damage they can to these Marines on the high ground, and they'll be able to do lots of damage because of that scan. And these Marines are not going to be able to hold them off, even with that medevac, which still hasn't died. There it goes. These Marines are going to have a tough time holding off this attack. Oh. It looks like he's not going to be able to hold it. We'll see what happens. Chillin' just trying desperately to do everything he can. He has... 15, 15 SCVs mining two mineral patches. He needed to get those SCVs to another to another base to be able to have uh, more of an economy to get those uh, to get what he can out in time. And Chillum's going to be pulling back, uh, producing Marines as fast as he can. But these Marauders and these Marines just do so much damage, taking out these Iraq reactors to where only one Marine can be produced at a time. And this has been a very fruitful attack. Uh, by TZ, still hasn't expanded behind it, still keeping on the two base pressure, but he has another wave of units coming in, which are going to pretty much start destroying everything, and it looks like he's going to be going for a drop here, probably more towards the back to maybe take out all these supply depots, or just take out the production, either. and the drop happens, and hell, uh, oh jeez, these uh, marines and tanks just unleash their devastating power, and that is GG by Chillum. Wow. Once again, the Marines and the tanks on a two-base pressure. Was it the last one, two-base pressure as well? Mm -hmm. I believe it was. Uh, it, it was two-base pressure into a three-base, but... Oh, wow. What a great match by Google um, and Oracle. <clears throat> Google will take the game three games to none. And I hope you guys have enjoyed the cast, and we will see you guys next time.